Acoustica Audio changed their installation process for trials, so I figured for 2018 I'll make a new video finally. And first of all, you want to go up here to the little stick figure looking thing and, well, wait, there we go. <laughs> you have to do it. So if I, I was trying to do that and it didn't work. So you have to go straight down and then over, hit sign up, and then you want to type in nickname. You know, I mean, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. So then you sign up and then the second step, which they'll probably tell you in the email, but if they don't, Go up here where it says Aquarius and then scroll down and depending on your operating system, hit download and then you're going to install Aquarius and I'll pick it up from there. All right. So here's our Aquarius folder and just double click the program. It loads up depending on your internet connection. It might go slower or faster. So right now, Go over to here to this gear icon and go to settings. This is important because if you don't set this up before you install anything, files will be all over your hard drive, okay? So what you want to do is click the installation tab and then change it to where you want your plugins to be installed. Now I recommend if you already have Acoustica Audio plugins to select a different folder. So by default for me, it was going into the Steinberg slash VST plugins folder. Prior to that, it was straight off my system drives inside of a VST plugins folder. So uh, I actually don't mind the default. This uh, staging area, I would actually recommend if you have a second hard drive to use a second hard drive. I don't like putting anything on my solid state system drive. Anyway, if you want to try out the new plugins, the latest plugins, you type in all caps, last trials, and then you hit apply. And then it'll say that, hit okay. It should refresh. If for some reason it doesn't refresh, close the program. You might need to sign out. Oh, by the way, I forgot you do have to sign in. Um, I, I thought that was a little obvious, but Let's just show that. So there's my password. I already have it in as for the remember me thing. So just log in. And like I said, it should refresh. If it doesn't, then yeah. So on the purchase tab or whatever you want to call this icon, you'll see all the different aquas that you can download. All right. Now, as I go down the list, you'll see some of them say trial. Some of them are just normal. The ones that are normal are the ones that I own. The ones that are trial only, obviously, are the ones that I don't own. And let's see, the latest one that was put out yesterday is Pink 2. I haven't downloaded this yet, so I'm going to do that by just simply selecting what file type I want, which is VST2 64-bit. If you're on a 32-bit operating system, then choose x86. And I'm going to hit install. Now, this is going to take a while to do because it's 4 gigabytes. But this process of downloading and installing is very streamlined with Aquarius. So really, once everything's downloaded, that's it. Actually, for some reason, it's only 2 gigabytes. I don't know why it said 4 before. Oh, that's why, because I'm installing the darn trial. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, I wasn't paying attention. I was busy talking to you guys. Anyway, let's go through this again. All right. Now it should work. And it will say four gigabytes. Okay, 4.3. Anyway, so once this is finished... You just load up your doll, and that's it. It's already authorized, and there's nothing else to worry about. It's just that simple. It's like installing a Steam game, if you're familiar with that video game distribution system. And that's really all there is to it, guys. <laughs> no convoluted process. Just download, hit install, and try it out. And the beautiful thing is, they're very generous with 
the amount of authorizations you can try a plugin out for, I believe is up to 10 these days. Now that's because sometimes you hit it and it doesn't work, but you know, either way, you have a long time to try out these products. Very, very generous of them. And, um, you guys know, I love Acoustica audio plugins and that's why I made this video because I want more people out there to try out these plugins and get in the 21st century, 2018, really 2015. But anyway, yeah, this is great. And I've talked enough. Go download some acoustical audio plugins and make sure you're using a pretty powerful processor. You can use them on little laptops here and there, but i7 is recommended desktop or one of the newer AMD processors. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.